Besides that, Tinkercad also adds notes option. This one. Okay, so if you click on the notes and you click on your object, you can add notes for the object. So let's say I put this is a book. Okay. And you click on the minus, you can hide the notes. Click on it, show the notes. Click on this delete to delete your notes. Okay. After that, you have this toggle notes visibly. Okay. So if you click on it, it will hide the notes. If you click on it again, it will show. So this one is mean you are able to show, see what notes that you put over there. If you don't want to see the notes, you can click on it to close it. Okay, so that's about notes. And last thing is work plane. So as as default, this is your Tinkercad work plane. So you can change your work plane by clicking on this work plane tool, and then you can move it accordingly. Let's say I want to go to this side of the room. Okay. You click on it. This is one work plane, okay. Temporary work plane, okay. Let's say I want to add something like a chimney, okay. So I can put here, okay, and then rotate this a bit. Sorry, okay, let me rotate this. Hmm, I having difficulty rotating. Yeah. Okay, so that is smaller. Okay, so this as default, it will place the base of your shape on top of this work plane. So if I put a shape here, okay, and then if let's say I want it to be like this, okay. So to undo this temporary work plane, you can simply click on the work plane tool again and click on the blue one and it will come back to here. So this one is already created some parts of it for you. So this is about the work plane. So that's basically all about the controls okay, that you can use in Tinkercad. So for all controls, okay, you can see the shortcut, shortcut at when you hover on it. Okay, so the shortcut is uh set to, is show in the green book. Okay, so like example the show all. Okay, if I click on this, the undo. Okay, mirror. Oh, you have the mirror too. So this mirror tool is basically help you to flip accordingly. So if let's say I use a wedge and I put it to rotate here. Okay, then okay. So if I click this and I click on the mirror, so it will rotate accordingly. Okay. Like this, like this, like this. Okay, X, Y, and Z. Okay. So that's about the mirror too. So for all of the shortcuts, okay, for the controls. How you can know the shortcut, you can simply hover on the controls that you want, okay? And it will show you the shortcuts in the green wood, okay? Like this, once you familiar it, you can use the shortcut instead of clicking on the icon, okay? So that's basically all about the controls and shortcuts for Tinkercad. And that's all for this video. Bye!